Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me again, Ends. And una sa lahat, gusto ko lang magpasalamat sa mga nanood at patuloy na nanonood ng mga videos na ginagawa ko dito sa aking YouTube channel. So, thank you so much. Na-appreciate ko yung uh, mga comments and uh, likes and dislikes ninyo. Salamat. So, today, uh, we are going to talk about support and resistance. Uh, marami kasing nag-message sa akin na gumawa daw ako ng video tungkol doon. So, yung support and resistance is one of the major uh, factor na kailangan yung malaman, especially when you are trading uh, with the price action pattern. Okay? Uh, it's either sa uh, stock market or sa forex. So, magagamit siya. So, kailangan natin malaman kung nasan ba yung tamang support and resistance level. At kailangan natin ma-differentiate kung ano ba yung noise doon sa, sa dalawang yun. Okay? So, yun yung pag-aaralan natin today. In the meantime, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, leave your comment while the intro is running. See you then. Welcome back to our channel. So, ngayon pag-uusapan nga natin ang tungkol sa support and resistance. So, uh, yung support and resistance ay binubuo siya ng swing highs and swing lows. Okay, so let's start with swing lows muna. Okay. So, dito sa diagram na ginawa ako, uh, let's start with the swing low, which is yung sa support. So, this candle right here, this one, this one is the swing low. Kailan ba natin masasabi na swing low siya? Okay. Masasabi natin na swing low siya kapag merong dalawang higher lows bago siya sa bago sa kanya at may dalawang higher lows pagkatapos ng candle nito. So that's the time na masasabi natin na swing low siya. Okay? So another thing, okay? So, let's take a look at the next uh, diagram dito. So, swing low. Agaya ng alam natin, merong dalawang higher lows, which is itong dalawang to. At pagkatapos ay may dalawang higher lows din. Okay? So, yan. Hindi rin nagmamatter kung ano kahaba yung candlesticks or yung wick niya. It's either the candle, kung mahaba, or maikli, hindi nagmamatter yon, As long as hindi lumalampas sa kanya. Okay? So, kung titignan mo itong uh, wick nitong candle na to, and ito, hindi yung lumampas sa, sa wick nitong ating swing low mismo. Okay? Kuha? So, hindi rin nagmamatter yung color ng bar. Okay? So, for example, this one is uh, green. Nyari green to. Ito red. So, hindi nagmamatter yon, Okay? So, the important thing is dapat yung swing low ay merong dalawang higher lows bago sa kanya at may dalawang higher lows pagkatapos ng candlestick na yon. That is our swing low. Okay? So, on the other side naman, andi dyan yung ating resistance. Or yung swing high. Yep, tama yung inisip mo. So, ito yung ating swing high. Itong bar na to. Okay? Swing high. Bakit nga natin siya tinawag na swing high? Tama ka ulit. Kasi bago sa kanya, merong dalawang lower high. At pagkatapos din sa kanya, yung candlestick na to, meron ding dalawang lower high. Okay? Nagigets? Okay. So, of course, kagaya ng swing low natin dito, ang swing high natin, hindi nagmamatter kung gano'ng kahaba yung bar o gano'ng siya kaikli. Hindi rin nagmamatter yung wick, yung haba ng wick o yung ikli ng wick. As long as 
hindi siya lumalampas sa ating swing high. Okay? And of course, another thing, tama ka ulit. Hindi rin nagmamatter ang color. This could be red. And this could be green. The most important thing is hindi dapat lalampas sa ating uh, candlestick na swing high. Okay? Okay. So, basically, that's the first thing that we need to know. Support and resistance are made of swing highs and swing lows. Okay. Now, I'll, I'm going to show you a diagram about sa swing high and swing low. Simula natin sa... Uh, stock market. So this is a sample that I've made sa JFC. So let's review. Itong first part na nilinyahan ko, let's start with the swing low. Okay, swing low. Bakit may dalawang higher low at sinundan ng dalawang higher low. So this is our swing low. Next, hahanapin naman natin yung swing high. And of course, nakikita nyo naman na nandito yung swing high natin, which is this one. Bakit? Kasi siya yung pinaka taas, tapos merong dalawang lower high before sa ating swing high, at merong dalawang lower high after ng swing high natin. Okay? So, paulit-ulit lang natin yan papraktisin. Kung makikita nyo dito, swing low ulit to. Swing high. Swing low. Swing high. Tsaka, nakikita nyo ha, hindi lumalampas yung mga week nila dito sa ating mga swing high and swing low. Sila yung pinakababa, sila din yung pinakataas. Okay? Pinakababa, pinakataas, Pinakababa, pinakataas. Pinakababa, taas, bago nag-curve ulit, bumaba. Okay? So, that is our swing lows and swing highs. Okay? So, let me redo that. So, ngayon na alam na natin kung ano yung swing high and swing lows na bumubuo sa ating support and resistance, papano naman natin na masasabi na yung support and resistance na nililinyahan natin okay, ay yung major level of structure. Meaning to say, hindi ka nagpo-position sa consolidation part na lang. sabi natin sa consolidation part. Okay. So, this is example. We know that this is our swing low and this is our swing high. Huwag nyo muna ang pansinin to. Ah, uh, sorry. Huwag nyo muna pansinin to. Hintin natin. Huwag nyo na muna pansinin tong dalawang bar na to. Okay? So, let's start from our swing low. Okay. So, this is our swing low. Sabihin na nating support. And this is our swing high, which is the resistance. Ngayon, kung titignan mo siya, Bumaba siya dito and gumawa siya ng panibagong swing low. Bakit? Kasi merong higher lows, higher lows. Tama? Before and after. Kaya siya naging swing low. So, ibig sabihin ba nun, pupusisyon ka dito na magsisell ka or magbabay ka? Okay. No, hindi. We need to know our major level of structure when it comes to support and resistance. Okay, so here we go. This is our support line. This is our resistance line. So this support and resistance is our major level of structure. Meaning to say, hindi ka magtitrade hanggat hindi siya lumalampas sa resistance line natin or hindi siya nagbe-break sa support level natin. Okay? 
that is how you execute the right and perfect price action pattern. Okay? Kasi kung magpo-position ka dito, what if nakita mo to position ka na, uh, umakit na siya, okay, nag-buy ka na, nag-buy, nag-buy. Okay. So, na-create na yung resistance level natin. Let's say, dito sa left side, merong uh, mga structure pa dito na gumanyan siya, gumanyan, ayan. Okay, so masabi mo na, for example, nandito na tayo, masasabi mo na resistance level to. Okay, so nagposition ka na. Eh, hindi pa siya nag-break and close above our resistance level. Meaning to say, hindi niya pa nalalampasan itong candlestick na to, nagposition ka na. Eh, bumaba yung market, yung price. So, loss ka na agad. Well, that's, that's, that's fine if you are uh, trading with a stock market and then naka long term trading ka. But what if you're trading with Forex? You're trading Forex. That's already lost, ba? Unless you close it out, uh, that's lost already. Pero what if bumaba ng bumaba and you're trading Forex? Okay? So we need to really understand the support and resistance major level of structure. Okay, so again, this is our support and resistance level. Lahat ng nangyayari dito sa gitna, when you're trading price action pattern, wala ka mo nang gagalawin. Okay, once nag-break and close above dun sa resistance level mo, or nag-break and close below, dun sa support level mo, that's the time you position a trade. Okay? Uh, kung sa stock market man yan or forex. Okay? So, look at here. Let me clear this out. Look at this. So, this is our support line. Buray natin para mas malinaw. So, resistance. So, this is our support. Right? So, ngayon, nag-break and close below our support, uh, support level. Okay? So, that's the time you will position. It's either you wait for the next candlestick and then you position a sell or short or you wait for the market to retrace. Babalik at babalik yan kung saan siya nanggaling. Okay? Once it breaks your resist, uh, support, babalik yan, and then it will continue down. Same thing with the resistance. Okay, let me clear this out para mas malinaw. So, pag nag-break and close above our resistance level, gumalaw na siya. It's either you position a trade kapag lumabas na yung next candle, or you wait for it to retrace and then you position right here and then boom. Okay? So, it is very important to know the major level of structure of support and resistance para hindi tayo naiipit sa gitna. Kaya maraming traders ngayon na naiipit kasi nagposition nag uh, buy or sell sa consolidation part. Okay? So, um, I think that's it. Uh, support and resistance. Make sure you review it. You need to know or practice yung swing high or swing low. And then you look for the major level of structure. Well, I think it will be better if uh, gawin natin siya sa forex naman. Okay? So, ito kasi sa stock market to. Let me open my forex. Okay, so I hope medyo uh, nakikita nyo naman, no? So ito, uh, dito na lang tayo banda magsimula. Let's say here. Okay, so we know that this is our, ano ta? 
swing high. Resistance. Okay? And then, like, down your market. Hintay ka muna. This is our swing low. Bakit? Meron dalawang higher lows before and after. So, this is our swing low or support. So, what you do, lagyan mo na sila ng mga marks. Ginagawa ko para ma-differentiate ko red for support. And then, I change it to green. Hold on. Change it to lime for my resistance. So, dito pa lang makikita mo na yung major level of structure. Okay? So, I'm oh, sorry. Wala. Ulit, ulit, ulit. Okay, there you go. So, makikita mo na dito yung major level of structure. So, kung ano man ang nangyayari dito, uh, when it comes to stock market, huwag ka munang gumalaw para siguradong safe ka. Sa so, Forex, on the other hand, you can trade if you're doing scalping. Okay, for example, nandito na siya sa resistance level mo. So, hindi naman siya nag-break and close above your resistance line. So, you can position a sell. Wait for the market. Or, uh, since ito, for example, ito pa yung nakikita mo. Uh, resistance and support. So, dito tayo. Okay. So, hindi naman siya nag-break and close below our uh, support line. So, pwede kang mag-position ng buy or long. So, depende sa iyo kung ilang pips yung gusto mong gawin. For example, from here, uh, Depends, kahit 50 pips, 100 pips sa'yo, okay na, and then you close your position. So, you can trade. So, that is the difference between stock market and uh, forex. So, so forex, any time pwede kang uh, mag-position, uh, as long as you are within the major level of structure. And then, uh, buy or sell, you can earn. Sa stock market, so we know na... Uh, kapag bumaba yung price, of course, baba din yung portfolio natin. Right? So, ngayon, um, kung price action pattern naman yung ginagawa mo, position ka, position, uh, wait for the market to, uh, wa just wait for the market while it's consolidating, and then dito ka na. So, nag-break and close. So, it's either you position on the next bar, or you wait for it to retrace and then go down. Okay, so this part right here, uh, napaka likut kasi ng gold ngayon since uh, sa pandemic halos lahat pumupunta sa gold. So there are some strategies that doesn't work uh, for some period of time. Pero I assure you, once you're within the major level of structure, you can earn sa forex, okay, by yourself. So, tsaka hindi lang naman ito yung magiging basihan mo. There are different indicators din na titingnan mo kung uh, uh, is it time for you to buy or to sell like this one. Okay? By the way, I created a video. Uh, it's a private video for my paid uh, subscribers. Uh, they paid 1,000 pesos for that. Uh, I, I showed them kung paano yung strategy na ginagawa ko. I have three strategies. Yung scalping, hedging, at saka yung uh, doji na uh, strategy. So, if you want to know more about that, don't forget to send me a message. Uh, send a message here. Um, and then I will uh, contact you or I reply to, to your message and then we can contact the messenger. Anyways, uh, going back, again, major level of structure. Look at this one. Uh, break and close our resistance level. So, pangalawang bar, in position. You set your position and then you set your uh, pips, your take profit, kung ilan man yung gusto mong take profit. Okay? So, 
Uh, another thing that we need to know, hindi lang yung major level of structure. Kasi nagbabago yan eh. Hagaya nito, uh, for example dito, for example this is our uh, resistance. This is our support. Now, consolidation hanggat hindi siya nagbe-break, that's fine. Ngayon, paano to nag-break na dito? So, what you do is you move your support level and then you move your resistance level. Paano gagawin mo doon? So, dito tayo kanina, di ba? Nandito tayo kanina. So, mag-adjust siya. Yung support mo because this is the new swing low. So, ngayon, yung resistance mo, yung swing high, saan mo siya ilalagay? So, ang gagawin mo, mag-move back ka lang kung saan yung latest na pinakamataas. Doon mo iseset yung resistance level mo. Okay. Again, uh, uh, let me see. So, this could be swing, swing high, swing low, pero wala sa major level of structure. So, swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low. Ngayon, nag-break. So, nandito pa rin tayo sa loob. Since hindi naman siya nag-break, hindi mo ginalaw tong support line mo dito. Since hindi naman siya nag-break. So, nandiyan dyan lang siya. Ngayon, nag-break na dito. Ang gagawin mo ngayon, of course, i-adjust mo yung resistance level mo. I-zoom lang natin. Okay. So, yung resistance level mo, i-adjust mo. Dito. And then, saan yung support mo? Since nag-break na yung resistance mo. Again, backwards. Kung saan yung pinaka-latest uh, na swing low. Which is this candle. So, ngayon, ito na naman yung major level of structure mo. So, lahat ng nangyayari sa loob ng major level of structure na to, uh, you can trade when you're trading Forex. Okay? So, you have to wait for the market to, to go down, break this support line right here, or go up and break this resistance, and then you adjust your support and resistance level again. That's the price action pattern trading. So, um, this pattern trading usually works with Forex. So, stock market, I, I've tried this one, but you have to wait for a longer period of time for, for a market to break a support and resistance, except if there's any news. Okay, so yun yung difference. So right now, uh, this, this is the information that I can provide you. Hopefully, this video helps you a lot. Uh, may natutunan kayo kahit papano. And again, uh, I do have a paid training uh, trading strategies. If you want, uh, just leave your comment down below and then uh, I'll contact you from there. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, we will contact from there okay so again this is me again and and thank you so much for watching hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe for more videos uh, like and leave your comment down below you guys have a wonderful day of trading take care bye now